Hello and today we will be installing VirtualBox in Linux, Kali Linux to be specific. Now you can use this method to any Debian based system and it should work just fine. Now the thing that you are seeing on screen is a step by step guide that I wrote uh, to make things a little bit simpler and you can just copy and paste the commands from here and you should be good to go. Uh, you can find a link in the description and just follow along now if you like what i do and uh, want to support me then hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a video when i upload them and if you have any issues or any troubles regarding uh, installing this then let me know in the comments down below now with that all of that out of the way let's get installing uh, so the first thing that you can see right here is to update your system now if you have seen my previous video or if you know about virtualization then you would know that in my vmware vmware video i told you that uh, upgrading your system is crucial that's because it is uh, the upgrading part is mostly required for this one right here this thing right here the next headers uh, this is absolutely necessary if you want to virtualize in Linux. So, this it, for this you need the latest kernel. Now you may wonder oh, why do you need it? And if you are not wondering, that good, you are a very nice person, and I don't have to explain to you. You can skip this this part and go to the actual install. But if you are curious, then let me show you something. So. Uh, if you get to, uh, if you open up a terminal, hold up, let me make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's good. So if you open up a terminal and if you uh, search for that Linux header, so you can search something on apt by typing sudo apt search. Then we can say Linux dash header. Oops, I typed my password wrong and it's really huge but let me show you what I mean. So if you scroll all the way to the top of this, then you can see that it says Linux header 5.18.0 Kali 7 AM4. Now if we were on an older kernel, uh, this would have Kali 5 but if it has Kali 5, then this cannot be installed because, well, that file does not exist. So, to install this, you just know that to have that, you need to upgrade your system. So, let's start from there. Let's first upgrade our systems, then we can continue on to the next steps. So, let's just say sudo apt update this is to refresh our repositories and this says we have 119 packages that can be upgraded so then we can just get here and copy this or you can type this command out uh, to paste in terminal you have to do control shift v that will paste in the terminal if you didn't know so the command is sudo apt full upgrade dash y. So after you do this, it will automatically upgrade everything in your system. So this may take a while. Hold on and let it finish. And see you after this is installed. So after you have updated and rebooted your system, now we are ready to actually install this. So the first thing we have to do after all of this is done or your updating is done, uh, first let's check uh, if our system is actually updated. Uh, we can do that by saying uname-r and yes, in fact, we are at Kali 7. Yeah, this so let's get continue on to the video so let's go ahead and download virtualbox 
so how do you do that so you can see there is a link right here and if you don't want to get through the link you can just open a browser any browser work you don't have to use firefox you can use chrome uh, internet explorer or even edge if you prefer i don't know if they make edge for linux but you can try so after this uh, we can uh, just search for virtualbox.org or org or however you know org that sounds so bad <laughs> well whatever so uh, we just have to get to this website and if we, once we get into this uh, you can see that uh, there is a big download button right here it is huge you cannot miss this in the website so just click on that and then you should see a bunch of things right here do not get scared of this there is a lot of things i know but uh, we don't have need any of this we just need this one right here that says linux distributions so this is all of the build that is made for linux distributions and you can see there is a lot of versions that support it and if you are if you don't trust me and if you want to install it yourself well you can do this as, as you can see that uh, it is uh, like every single distribution that needs this is like the setup process is right here so we'll just get this one which says ubuntu because it is the most easiest to install and though i'm using kali linux it will work just fine so after we click this it should start downloading i already have this downloaded so i won't bother downloading it again so but i will give you an advice like if you are having issues like installing it or installing virtualbox like the method i am showing you you can always come back here and like go down here and install it like this like the way that this is shown here like there is a lot of things that they did and uh, this method is mostly uh, this shows that how you can do it inside of the terminal but we are not doing it completely inside of terminal we're doing uh, the beginner's way or the easy way you know like we, we work smarter man we don't have time for those uh, complicated linux commands I mean, it's a joke I know, I know i'm using linux i should be used to linux but well if you have the option why not anyway uh, enough talk so we close let me close this and let me open the file you know what let's do it the terminal way so let me just get into my downloads folder and let me just see and as you can see here is the file that i have downloaded so it is a dev file so if you are very new to linux then the dev file is essentially uh, kind of like the exe or a setup file in windows just for debian based system and it's in the name it says dev and debian you know you can see the resemblance so to install this we just have to type oh wait a minute don't be so hasty we have to install these things but anyway uh, we have to just copy this then we can just do Control shift v and and the reason i forgot is i already have this done so i essentially just forgot so if we hit enter and as you can see see i told you uh, everything is installed so then what we do is just type sudo dp sorry dpkg this is the command right here dpkg install virtual world. this is the file name so this is the command right here and you can rename the file so if you want to make it easier and you can also just half type it into tab it auto fills it anyway so after you do this just hit enter and wait for it a bit and it should install it just fine And there we go.
Now we have VirtualBox installed. We can run this just by typing VirtualBox. And there we go. It just ran it. And I am getting an error here because while I am running this inside of a virtual machine, I do not recommend you do this. But uh, this video is mostly uh, to show you how to install VirtualBox and not run it. You can like see other videos. You can just do new and create your virtual machine from here. But I won't go into that. So that was the process of installing VirtualBox in Linux uh, or Kali Linux to be specific. If you like the video, just like. If you don't like the video, let me know why you don't like it and what is the issue that you are facing. So that's it. See you. Bye.